electricity beginning to surge through Globe Black Park. Over the mound, here comes Odor. The throw, the Rangers are the winner. Western Division champion, Texas Rangers, 2015. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. On the final day of the regular season, Adrian Beltre's two-run homer in the fifth put the Rangers on top to stay, and Cole Hamels went the distance for the Rangers en route to a 9-2 complete game win over the Angels and an AL West division crown. The Rangers will play game one of their division series in Toronto against the Blue Jays on Thursday. For the Halos, Albert Pujols hit his 40th home run, recording his seventh season with 40 or more homers, joining Mike Trout and Troy Gloss as the only Angels to reach 40 home runs in a season. With the Angels' loss, the Astros clinched a wildcard berth and will play in their first postseason since 2005. Despite losing 5-3 to the D-backs, Jose Altuve tallied three hits and became the first Astro with two 200-hit seasons. With the Astros' loss, the Yankees clinched home field in the AL wildcard game on Tuesday. Masahiro Tanaka is slated to take the hill for the Yankees in their first postseason game since 2012, where he'll be opposed by 20-game winner Dallas Keuchel, who will start on three days rest. Chris Davis hit a pair of homers for the Orioles, ending his season with a Major League best 47 home runs, leading the Orioles to a 9-4 win over the Yankees. The Cubs' three-run first was enough for Dan Heron, who allowed one run over six frames as the Cubs beat the Brewers 3-1, ending their regular season with eight straight wins. The Cubs will next travel to Pittsburgh after Jay Happ struck out seven over six scoreless frames to help the Pirates shut down the Reds 4-0 and clinch home field in the NL wildcard game. The Bucks will host the Cubs on Wednesday as Garrett Cole is slated to start opposite the Cubs' Jake Arrieta. The end of the season, and what a season it has been for Clayton Kershaw. With his seven Ks against the Padres, Clayton Kershaw finished his regular season with 301 strikeouts, becoming the first major league pitcher to record a 300 strikeout season since 2002. The Dodgers powered up with a trio of homers taking down the Padres 6-3. Kershaw and the Dodgers now look to game one of their division series at home on Friday against the Mets. In preparation for his Game 1 start, Jacob deGrom tossed four no-hit innings and the Mets held the Nationals hitless for six and two-thirds. Curtis Granderson's solo home run in the eighth would hold up as the Mets shut down the Nats 1-0. Ichiro Suzuki made his first career pitching appearance, allowing a pair of hits and a run in the eighth as the Marlins fell to the Phillies 7-2. In the loss, D. Gorton's three hits helped him claim the NL batting title with a 333 average. With their 6-1 win over the Twins, the Royals secured the top spot in the AL at home field advantage throughout the postseason. Kansas City will host the winner of the AL wildcard game in game one of their division series on Thursday. Mark Burley made the shortest start of his career as the Rays chased him with two outs and a nine-run first that included a Joey Butler grand slam. The Rays cruise to a 12-3 win as the Jays now prepare for game one of their division series with the Rangers on Thursday. Shelby Miller struck out seven over eight scoreless frames to end a 24-start winless streak as the Braves shut down the Cardinals 6-0 in game one of their doubleheader. Matt Whistler came one out shy of a complete game in game two, shutting down the Cardinals over eight and two-thirds as the Braves swept their season-ending doubleheader with a 2-0 win in the finale. The Cardinals will host the winner of the NL wildcard game as their division series will begin on Friday. Down 3-0 in the ninth, Corey Dickerson's three-run homer tied the game, and Justin Morneau's two-run single put the Rockies up for good. Colorado's seven-run ninth ended their season with a 7-3 comeback win over the Giants. Giovanni Urshela and Jesus Aguilar both had RBI singles to back Danny Salazar en route to his 14th win. Indians three, Red Sox one. Tyler Collins cleared the bases with a seventh-inning triple, and five Tigers pitchers combined on a three-hitter, defeating the White Sox 6-0. Despite not playing in Sunday's finale, Miguel Cabrera claimed the AL batting crown with a 338 season average. 
Seth Smith's solo shot in the eighth gave the Mariners a 3-2 win over the A's at Safeco Field. For more on these stories and for a complete preview of the upcoming 2015 postseason, stay locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.